G'day and welcome to Drive Time. Today we're talking marketing and how to make it an investment. You know, a lot of people see marketing as an expense for their business. They don't want to do it. They don't want to put the money into marketing because they think, oh, it doesn't work. And all I do is spend money on it. Well, when you do marketing right, it's an investment. What do I mean by that? Well, my, I wrote a whole book on this called Buying Customers. And the point of it is that you have to invest money to buy customers. In other words, if you spend $1,000 on advertising and it gets you 10 new customers, you spend 100 to buy each customer. If you spend 5,000 and you get uh, 10 customers, you spend 50 to get each new customer, if that, if that makes sense. Sorry, it's 500 to get each new customer. And so what we look at in marketing is how do we buy customers at an effective price? How do we buy customers for less than we actually make out of them? And, and that to me is what marketing is all about. It's about an investment. I first learned this when I had a dog food business down in Melbourne, Australia, Trophy Dog Food with the McNamara brothers. And what we did there is uh, we, we understood that we needed to buy 60 new customers a week because we put a new van on, we needed to buy 60 customers a week. And it's really important to understand exactly how many new customers you want to buy per week or per month. Too often people say, oh, how many new customers do you want? And literally they say, I want as many as I can get. Oh, thanks for typing in where you're at. Those of you who are new to drive time, we all type in where we are at. So type in your city so we know where we're driving to. So in essence, if uh, we wanted to buy 60 customers, our average sale to a new customer was 108, and out of that, 38 was profit. So yeah, type in where you're at. Thanks for doing that, gang. Daniel, good to see you here. Um, so what we had to do is buy customers for less than the $38 profit that there was in that first sale. So. The first sale had $38 profit. Now we got them back, they were repeat customers of course. But the point of it was, if we could buy customers, now our radio ads bought customers for $24.50. Meaning for every $24.50 we put into radio, we got a new customer. So if, if let's just say for instance, you could buy a customer for $10, and every time you bought a customer for $10, you made $20. So $10 out and $20 back. How many new customers would you buy? Not a complex thing, is it? If you went to the bank and gave them 10 and they gave you back 20, you would give them as many 10s as you could, as you could handle type thing. So if you want to buy, say, 20 customers a week, then you know that it costs you, say, $50 to buy a customer, you know how much you've got to invest in marketing to see a growth business. Now, most companies don't invest in marketing. Why? Because they don't do two things. They don't test and measure. Now, you've got to learn testing and measuring. That's in my book, Instant Advertising, and it's also covered in uh, Buying Customers. So read both of those two books. But what, what our goal is with marketing is to turn it into something that actually makes us a ton of money meaning that we understand our purchasing cost, our buying cost of a customer. If it costs us this much to buy a customer, we make this much, then we can do the whole thing. Now, when it comes to understanding that marketing is an investment, we really need to get out of that accounting mindset. And you know, me as a trained accountant, I sort of sit there and look at it and go, oh, but I write it off, it's an expense. Well, not really. If you do marketing the correct way, Every time you buy a customer, you're buying them for less than you're making from them. So if you make $100 a customer, you gotta buy them for less than that. If you make $20,000 a customer, you gotta buy them for less than that. In most cases in business, we don't, people don't seem to see it that way. So let's look at different ways people do buy customers. How do, um, uh, well, let's look at uh, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola used to buy customers by running a lot of ads, TV advertising, lots and lots of advertising. Now they don't do that. They buy customers by sponsoring a stadium. You know, they put their name on the stadium, they get the rights to it or to the hotel or to the restaurant. You know, they become the sole supplier of it. That's how they buy customers type thing. If we take a look at telephone companies, how do they buy customers? Well, they, they obviously get you hooked on the plan. You know, you get hooked on buying the phone and therefore you get hooked at buying the customers. When we look at 
at a restaurant, how does a restaurant buy customers? Well, when they start out, they launch, they give away free meals to friends and family to buy customers type thing. You gotta see your business as an operation of buying customers. In fact, my definition of marketing, write this down, okay? Whether if you're driving with me, then you can't write it down, but if not, you need to write this down. The definition of marketing is profitably buying lifetime customers. Let me say that again, profitably buying lifetime customers. So you gotta see it as you put out the money, you invest the money to buy a customer. Now you don't invest the money to buy a single term customer, in other words, a single transaction customer. You invest the money to buy a customer that will keep coming back over and over and over again. A lifetime customer. So your job as a marketer is to go through and do it. Now, if you've never learned my five ways, go to my YouTube channel, Brad Sugars on YouTube. And on YouTube, I want you to type in Brad Sugars five ways, okay? Learn my five ways formula. Well, you can do it from Google too, I guess. Brad Sugars five ways. Uh, well, five ways, Brad Sugars, either way. And you'll learn from me how that formulaic approach works, okay? Understand that. If you're working with an action coach, sit with them and have them well show you through it. If you're not working with an action coach, make sure you do jump on our website, actioncoach.com. Your first session, your first coaching session is free with a coach. So jump on. Uh, there's a section there where you can get your first coaching session for free. See what it's like. See how it works for you. But listen. Ultimately, you've got to build your business. To build your business, you've got to do marketing. There's no other way to do it than to buy customers and keep buying those customers, right? The more customers you need to buy, obviously, the more you have to invest in marketing. It's no more complex than that. Once you know what it costs to buy a customer, you just keep buying them. You buy as many as you can handle. Now, you don't want to buy too many because then your customer service goes down. And you don't want to buy too few because then your profitability goes down. So, keep buying customers. Now, end of the drive time, what is your number one lesson today? Everyone participate. What is your biggest lesson for drive time today? Type it in, give it to me so that I know you get to start working on it. Now, don't say I'm not gonna type it in. Type it in now so that you get to work. It, it, there's the way the world works is when you commit to something, it starts working for you. Typing it in is your sign of commitment. Anyway, that's drive time for today. Keep investing in marketing. If you don't know how to make marketing and investments, start reading all my books uh, or get on the 30X business, okay? Get on 30X business, 30 minutes a day for 30 days, you and me together teaching and learning about business growth. And there's a whole section in there. I think it's like seven or eight days on marketing. Take care. Bye for now. Enjoy the drive. Bye for now.